hello welcome back to the channel today is definitely a bit more of a i'm just going to kind of talk at you kind of video it's astra's last day here so she's gonna just be annoying in the background for one more video <laughs> today we're gonna be talking about how to mentally fortify yourself for black friday and the holidays in terms of spending money shopping asking for gifts, all that kind of stuff. So I'm coming from the perspective of someone who is a minimalist and also doing a no buy year this year. And you can take some advice, leave some advice, just use what resonates with you essentially. Let's just jump right into it. The best thing that you can do in general is just plan ahead. What I always say is just like make lists and like create a plan. We still have a little bit of time before Black Friday comes around. We have a little bit of time before the holidays are like officially in full swing. I know that we're definitely thinking about it. It's at the back of our minds. <laughs> but the best thing that you can do is really make a list, especially when it comes to Black Friday deals and sales and all that stuff. Besides trying to literally unsubscribe yourself from every email possible, make a list of exactly what you need or want to buy, whether it's gifts or things that you actually need for yourself, for your home or life in general. If it's actually important, it will be on the list. It will be something that you can think up very quickly in the next like week or so. And you need to be really, really, really steadfast. This is the tough love part. When you make your list, you're done. That's it. You stick to your list. If it's actually important enough, it will be on your list. Set a cutoff day of when you can stop adding things to the list, okay? But make sure you have a plan. The other alternative is to set a budget of how much you are allowed to spend. If you are just buying gifts for people, which I will talk about some other alternatives in a moment, make sure that you still set a specific monetary budget because otherwise you will just be shopping until the cows come home, you know what I mean? So really make sure that you set yourself a very specific budget and stick to that budget. Do not go over... The whole point of this first point of planning ahead is really just sticking to your guns, okay? Another good thing to do is maybe do some reconnaissance, like researching prices of things that you want to get, shopping around to see where you can get the best deal, or seeing how much money you would even be saving with regular pricing right now, and then holiday pricing in a little bit because sometimes companies like mark things up right before the holidays or put what the original price was and then mark it down exorbitantly where it was basically the same price before the holidays. I don't know. Companies do a lot of tricky stuff to get you to buy more things during the holiday season. And speaking of that, another thing to consider is not shopping at big stores. And usually those big stores are the ones that are gonna be offering you all these big deals and all this stuff. One thing you can do is thrift some gifts for people. If you are doing that, then I highly suggest setting yourself a budget or at least a list, an idea of what kind of things you wanna buy for people. You can find very unique pieces of clothing or decor or like you can create a little gift basket or something with random bits and bobs that you find or do sort of like a DIY situation of like buying one cheap thing from the thrift store and then upcycling it or using it for a project or making it more fancy or adding something into it like buying a ceramic baking dish from a thrift store and then baking a pumpkin loaf in it and like giving that out at the holidays or whatever. So thrifting, DIY, handmade gifts, buying from small businesses, these are all ways that you can buy one small meaningful thing for maybe not as much money or use your own time and resources to get a gift or make a gift for someone instead of just buying someone a bunch of random garbage from a big box store that happens to be doing a 70% off sale for Black Friday. You know what I mean? Like really thinking about something that someone can use, something that they want, or something that really comes from the heart or means a lot to that person. Because I will tell you that one well thought out gift is a lot more valuable than five 
random pieces of crap or maybe that's just me i don't know <laughs> you can also gift people experiences if you have like younger members of your family you can gift them like a sleepover at your house or you can gift them a trip to the movies or something along those lines that's like a bit cheaper but something that's meaningful and you can spend quality time with that person or you can get them gift cards to their local gym or like for dance classes you can get them passes for that or their local museum or aquarium or something. You can get them a concert ticket, like whatever kind of thing or activity they might like to do throughout the year. It will just be something very meaningful from you and something that they can use to share memories throughout the entire year. The last little tip or piece of advice that I would give when it comes to mentally fortifying yourself for the holidays is going to be to talk to your friends and family about your situation and and really remember what the real point of the holidays is, which is spending time with friends and family. Obviously, during the holiday season, it is literally a race by marketing campaigns and big box stores and companies to get you to spend as much money as possible. Making your loved ones remember that you love them by getting them this new lip gloss and making sure that they have this shirt or making sure that you give them this random kitchen gadget that can literally only do one singular thing like please <laughs> you really just have to remember that the point of the holidays is spending time with the people that you love being thankful that you're with them doing meaningful things with them is going to be more valuable than buying them a bunch of random things and then going into debt and having them not really care about the items that you're giving them forgetting that they're there or not using them or whatever you're spending your hard-earned money they're spending their hard-earned money you can either decide to do something all together or you can maybe talk to your family and see if you can work out a plan of let's do like a secret Santa or a gift swap where one person gets a gift for one other person instead of you buying gifts for every single person in your family. Again, you can like craft things for people, you can like knit or crochet things, but that also takes up a lot of time, a lot of yarn, and you know, it's it's difficult. You can make them food, you can make them lemoncello like I was saying earlier this year. There's a lot of options, but my boyfriend's mom actually offered me a series of pottery classes for my birthday and literally could not think of a better gift. Like that is something that means a lot to me and pottery classes aren't super cheap so it's hard to always get the time or the energy or the money to be able to go. And I don't know, just doing things like that is definitely worth it. In terms of what I'm asking for for Christmas, I literally just as a minimalist ask for things that are practical or things that I don't need to add clutter into my house. My mom for my birthday slash Christmas because my birthday's in November. She got me a vacuum, one of the best gifts I ever got. Again, my boyfriend's mom is getting me pottery classes for my birthday and I just don't need many other things. Like, I don't really care that much about like opening presents, but again, that's definitely more of a internal and shoving society away sort of mindset shift that people need to go through. But if you wanted to do like little stocking stuffers or whatever, you can make something small. You can do consumable items like handmade soaps or candles, I guess, or like baked goods, that kind of thing. Just because, I don't know, we just, we really need to move away from buying each other plastic garbage and things that don't mean anything because I don't think that that necessarily conveys the idea of I love you. It's just I did this thing because I feel obliged to based on our societal norms kind of thing and it just doesn't feel meaningful at all to me at least. So yeah, I would just highly recommend to really think about making a very set plan if you need to buy things for yourself for your home and you're waiting for something to be on sale for something that you really need that you haven't bought yourself this year or whatever either making a list of things that you genuinely genuinely need and will use as like a list for other people to gift you or asking them to get you experiences or you doing the same for other people again i really must emphasize to make a plan and stick to it. Remove yourself from marketing emails. If you don't need to buy anything for this holiday season, just don't even 
be anywhere where you can be tempted during that time. Remove yourself from the internet, Black Friday through Cyber Monday, like do what you gotta do to really remove yourself from that stimuli. One thing that I will say to the people that have family members where gift giving is their love language and the only thing they do is just give you random crap that you don't want, need, or use, just you need to straight up tell them. I am very particular with the things that I own. If you give me something that is not on this very specific list that I have given you, I am probably going to declutter it, so you might as well save your money and not buy it because I'm not going to keep it if you give it to me. Just be really, really brutally honest because I've essentially done that with my family where I'm like, well, they watch my videos and they see that I brutally declutter many, many things. So I think they've figured out at this point unless they ask me very specifically what I want. The thing that they've just thought off the top of their head to gift me is probably going to get decluttered. There are certain things that I've given them free reign, like tea towels or like socks. If someone gives me some of those, like you always need socks and tea towels. I'm rubbing through my socks all the time because a lot of the socks that I own currently are not very good quality, so I'm slowly trying to replace my socks with better quality socks so I don't have to continually replace them. And like tea towels, no matter what you do, you just use the crap out of them and then eventually they turn into rags. It's the natural life cycle of a tea towel anyway. Being a lovely tea towel to being a rag and then becoming scraps and whatever. So really just talking and communicating your needs and boundaries with the people in your life. And even if that means like telling some of your friends that you're close with, like, hey, I love you all so much, but like, let's all not give or exchange gifts this year. Like I would much rather meet up and I'll do a dinner together or something. Really just figuring out things that, you know, will fit your budget, will fit your lifestyle, will fit all the things that will make everything more meaningful to you. Again, the key word here is intentionality. Making a list, sticking to your plan. I feel like I'm reiterating and harping at this point. I will probably just end the video here because I think that I've gotten my point across. Hopefully, this video was helpful. It's just a gentle and basic reminder of the things that we all kind of know already. Nothing revolutionary in this video, but I just wanted to come on here and remind you that it's gonna be okay. We can get through this holiday season unscathed. Put your credit cards in blocks of ice. Give them to your family members to hide from you if you need to. Just do whatever you need to do to really resist the urge or set up really, really, really strict, strict boundaries for yourself in terms of shopping for the holidays. So thank you so much for watching today's video. I will see you in the next one. And we will wrap up all the beautiful things about the snow by year and chit chat a lot about all of that. But until then, I'm sending you all my love because we are all just trying our best out here. All right, bye.